Hello. In the past, I've shared videos which showcased different uses for GPT-3, interesting stuff people have built. However, a lot of what I've shown is usually videos or GIFs on Twitter of stuff people have made, but not real applications you can interact with. Um, today, I'll be sharing some real applications using GPT-3 commercially live on the internet. And the exciting thing is not only can you use these applications for your own purposes, but also get some exposure to GPT-3 as well, because GPT-3 is still in private beta. So I'm going to be showing you a few that I found. Most of these are live right now. Others you need to sign up for or join a waitlist. But for the most part, for people who don't yet have access to GPT-3, I hope you'll find this really useful. Let's get started. So the first tool is called Dover, and basically what's happening here is you enter a job description, I guess a summary of one, and on the right it generates the whole thing for you. And so they've included a sample snippet, so the Dover engineering team is small but incredibly effective. As one of our first few engineers, and down below I guess it even lists the technical requirements, like what skills you need to have. And on the right, this is something GPT-3 generated based on that tiny, tiny summary over there. Uh, this is something that you can genuinely enter stuff right now and hit generate and see the description. Uh, I would do it myself, but it appears that I've been rate limited. I think I entered it more than two or three times per hour just to test it out. <laughs> and so I'm kicked out, but you guys should be able to test it out here and see what happens here. And already it's been really cool. Sometimes the answers are really on point, sometimes a little bit weird, and that's the fun part about GPT-3. Another tool I want to show you is Fitness AI. So you can ask health and fitness related questions in natural language here, and down below, it answers them. Now these few right here, it already loaded with the answers, but this is something that I just entered right now. What's the best way to overcome eye strain? And it answered, eye strain is caused by staring at a screen for too long, should prevent it, take breaks from looking at your screen every 20 minutes. So make sure you check this out and it'll give you a chance to play with GPT-3. One major company is Other Side AI. They're very popular on Twitter, showcasing different demos of GPT-3. Uh, I, I recommend you check them out, maybe request access. A lot of their tools are for making emails more efficient. Everything from over here, like you just enter a few points and then it generates the entire email for you, uh, to other tinier tools as well. I believe they made a summary tool. Uh, make sure you follow them on Twitter. Make sure you try out their tool. It'll give you a chance to interact with GPT-3. Next is a tool called Story Mapper. I talked about this in a previous video, but basically it lets you generate story flows easily. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, story flows for games, I should be more specific. And you can sign up on their website, storymap.com here. Uh, by the way, I'm putting all the links in the description, so you guys should have no problem finding them. AI Dungeon is a very popular tool when GPT-3 first launched. It's like a fun game, I guess you can get on the App Store. Um, a lot of people are using it to play around with GPT-3 and explore that whole side of GPT-3 for gaming. Uh, Simplify.so is a tool you can sign up for. I still haven't got access, but basically I believe it just takes a complicated concept and explains it to you like you're five years old, sort of like that popular subreddit. Again, another chance to experiment with GPT-3 and see how good it is at summarizing information. Uh, PhilosopherAI.com is a fun tool. I was messing around with it. Essentially, it's like you can um, talk to philosophers or at least GPT-3 pretending to be philosophers and giving philosophical answers to questions. This is really fun. Uh, I recommend you you know, have a coffee and take uh, maybe an hour set aside just to play around with this tool. You're gonna have a blast. And then lastly, I want to just share uh, taglines.ai. This is more of a more commercial kind of tool, but basically it helps you use GPT-3 to generate headlines and other kinds of copy. Uh, this is a, a, something a lot of marketers and copywriters spend a lot of time on. So this could actually save you time in addition to giving you exposure to GPT-3. Um, that's all I have to share today. Uh, please check out these tools. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I have some more GPT-3 and other content coming up in the works. 
Thanks for watching.